so that my microphone carries. Happy Thursday, everyone. Uh, thank you for understanding that we did not do a Facebook Live last night, uh, a What's New last night. I will just, you know, I'll just own it and say it was a day. And you know what? We've got lots. we got lots here to show you. And it just seemed having to pack everything up and then take it home and unpack it and pack it back up again and bring it back. And you know, we haven't done a store tour in a little while. So welcome to the Paper Crafters Workshop. And let me show you. I mean, I know Halloween has not quite happened yet, but it's pretty close. So we thought, you know what, people are starting to get in the Christmas spirit. You're, start try uh, you're trying to start make your holiday projects. Many of you, I think, already have your cards done, but if not, we've got some great stuff to share with you. And maybe you, as you're going along and watching us on this live, write in the comments, what kind of projects are you planning to work on for the holiday season? Because that way we can do some research, we can find some videos and some tips and tricks, and throughout the next couple of months, we can share those ideas and help you with um, all of those, that holiday crafting. So it's just after 10 o'clock here. Our doors are open, so you never know who's going to walk through our doors. But until then, let's start getting into some of our Christmas stuff. Uh, first, just a showcase. One of our lovely customers, Julie, loves to work with Tim Holt stuff. So this is a really fun little uh, display that she's made. You don't necessarily need to do anything quite that elaborate, but there will always be things that you can use from Tim Holtz that look really awesome on your projects. Uh, just beside it here, we have the Make It Merry kit from Spellbinders. This is a card making kit, but I have done lots of stuff with six by six pads and embellishments and things on layouts as well. So just because you're a scrapbooker, don't look over this. Uh, we're gonna quickly open this up. There's all kinds of amazing goodies in here, including lots of embellishments, card bases, and a six by six pad. Oh, Matt's just taking the recycling out. Uh, there are no instructions per se in this kit. If you go to the Spellbinders blog, they have lots of inspiration. And I think I did do a post or do a reel with some of these cards, but here are just some sample ideas. Whoops, and my other boards just fell over. Um, We'll do a post to make sure that these images get posted on our social media so that you can um, use them as idea starters. So that is the Make It Merry kit from Spellbinders. This is our coffee station. If you come in and see us, grab yourself a cup of coffee, grab a glass of water, or a bottle of water. We like to make you feel comfortable here. All right, so now if you've never been to our store, this first wall as you walk in the door, the door is at that end there, is where we put all of our latest and greatest um, seasonal stuff, anything that you're going to be wanting for right now, right in the moment. And we've got some amazing, amazing lines from Simple Stories, including the Simple Vintage Dear Santa. Has some really great, and that's Matt squeaking in the background. Everybody say hello to Matt. Darlene, do we have any questions as I'm going along? So far, nope. Someone said they were in the store and they love the soap, the new soap. Oh, the new soap. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, the Simple Stories lines, if you look, they're all very similar colors. So they will mix and match as well. Same with embellishments. Maybe you like an embellishment from Dear Santa, but you want to use it with the Tis the Season pack. You can absolutely do that. Lots of great stuff to show you. We've got six by eight pads. We've got uh, sticker books, we've got foam stickers. And you know, maybe you're not a card maker, but you wanna make some holiday cards. The Simple Stories card kits are amazing. All you need are scissors and foam tape and your adhesive. And you can pop them up, the instructions all come inside, they punch out so you don't even need a paper trimmer. If you're going to a weekend retreat, this is a great project to take to kind of get your mojo started. Uh, to work on a small project if something else isn't quite working out and it's just tons and tons of fun. All right, uh, also when Darlene was showing my display board, we have the Spellbinders Nutcracker Ballet Bundle. This has a six by six pad, some chipboard stickers and a whole ton of embellishments. Again, great um, starter components for your card making 
or your layouts or treat bags or anything that you would use a six by six pad for. Uh, what else do we have here? We have, I think I showed this off last week. This is the holiday charm pack from Photo Play. Red and green really seems to be um, a very standard color this season. Everyone's going back to their roots. They're going back to tradition. Uh, but then when you get to photo play, they've added in some hits of blue, which really just make things pop. We've got embellishments. There's stencils. Here is another card kit, this time from photo play. I love this card kit. And yep, the samples are up here. This is what they look like. And with the photo play card kits, if you purchase the extra sticker sheet, you can double your production value and get twice as many cards out of there, or you can just do your own thing. So that's what the sticker sheet looks like on the back. Really great value, really great to get your mojo started. Where did this go? Over here. All right, what else do we have here? I'm gonna show, so I talked a little about cards. This is for our scrapbookers. Look at how stunning this is. A big thanks to Chris who put these together. These are from the Christmas Spectacular Ultimate Page Kit. Not only do you get a total ton of um, die cut embellishments, chipboard embellishments, some fun cords, some great little clips, as well as your base pages, you also get this really cool vinyl um, envelope to keep everything in. And you can either do what the instructions tell you, which is on this side, you're just going to uh, find the embellishment, stick it down, add some foam tape, that kind of thing to follow along the instructions. Or you can get creative and do your own kind of layout. Now what I would recommend, so there's enough stuff for four layouts. Well, there will be extras too, but you need some extra base pages. But if there are ones that you like to do that you want to follow exactly, do those first so that you use up those bits instead of using them up on a freestyle layout and then not being able to find them later on. So here's one example. Here is another example. And I think that this one was literally just copying and placing items on top of what was already printed on the paper. There is this one here, which is, uh, that one was also a just follow along, color by numbers, if you will. There's some great little clusters and elements there. And then this is another freestyle one that Chris put together. Now, if you're doing something like this, I'm not sure if Chris did it. If you don't have your photos yet, just make sure you don't put all your adhesive down so you have room to tuck your photos underneath. Or maybe Chris is just using this to focus on the word cheer. Either way, some really great options with the uh, 49 and Market Ultimate Page Kit. For those of you who want something that maybe is not Christmas, we do have the Simple Stories Hanukkah pack um, in store so that you can do layouts or cards with those. Uh, we've got a little bit of Graphic 45 Christmas left. And then I showed this last week. This is Ski Lodge from Violet Studios, which is a sister company to Crafters Companion. As you can see, there's not a whole lot left. We are uh, moving through this really quickly and uh, I think uh, it's been quite popular. So I hope you guys, if you have purchased this, make sure you share your creations with us on the Paper Crafts Inner Circle or just email us and uh, we will be happy to see what you've created and possibly even post with your permission. Uh, down here, we've got the uh, big picture album kit from 49 and Market. Again, this makes a beautiful album. It's got all the pieces inside. We have been opening this up to show people what's inside, but you get all kinds of paper, laser cuts, all that good stuff. Oh, that one got a little smushed. But a great little keepsake album, lots of single sheet paper. And if, you, if Darlene's just gonna quickly go down the back end of our wall as you walk in the door. If you want something that's maybe not quite Christmas, we do have the Art Options Spice from 49 and Market, as well as the Peach and Grow Color Swatch. All right, we're gonna flip, turn around. Uh, Matt's sitting down hiding, so you can't see him in the background there. Um, here we've got some Christmas packs from uh, For Us Blah. Clearly not enough coffee this morning from Elizabeth Craft, as well as some of their winter papers. 
and the brand new abandoned papers. This went with the Weekend Escape um, collection pack or co uh, die, die kit from Elizabeth Craft. It's not too late for Halloween, so we do have some Halloween treat bags. This is how easily they come together. Just have to have a little bit of tape and then stuff them all. And we have one pan of Christmas left. Sure. All right. Doodlebug. I think I showed you Doodlebug a couple of weeks. One new addition. We did finally get in that six by six pad so our card makers can get all their cuteness going on. And I'm often told I don't breathe when I talk, so I'm going to... No, you're going oh. a mile a minute. Breathe? Are there any questions, darling? No, they're liking this tour, but also we got the replenishment of this... Oh, of that doodle pop. Look at how darling little cookie trays. Yeah, we talked about the six by six. Don't forget the washi tape, the um, bits and pieces, and all of the single sheet paper. And... Breathe, because there's still more. <laughs> Come with me this way. We have the Christmas flora lines from Echo Park, or sorry, from Cartabella. Now what they did with this one is they took one giant line and broke it into three individual mini lines. So we have Joyful, which has a, um, a more prominent color of the orange, very warm color palette here. We have the Mary line, which is much more classic with the black backgrounds. And then we have our non-traditional peaceful with the pink and more of the, the minty teals and things like that. So regardless of what your style, you're gonna find something in this Christmas flora. We've got joyful, merry, and peaceful. We have the six by six pods as well. And then they also were super smart that their solid pack will go with all three. So you've one solids pack, three pattern packs, lots and lots of options. All right, keep coming this way. Keep coming this way. We do have a little bit of Hero Arts uh, Christmas left, including these beautiful rub-ons, which were used in our fall winter craft around. Um, these are the trees that I used on my breast cancer card the other night. Uh, this one's from last year, but he's still super cute, and that's that little snowman, and still lots of great hero stuff to play with if I don't knock them all on the floor. All right, I'm just going to do a sneak peek here again. Someone mentioned the scrubby soap, so we've got some new scents in the scrubby soap, and we talked about Tim a little bit earlier, so here are some great uh, embellishments and um, figures. I don't. I wouldn't call them embellishments because they're they're 3D. So uh, if you are making displays or maybe things for your table decorations or your mantle decorations, some great holiday paper as well. Moving around, Darlene's. Oh, before we go, let's spin one little bit. Still have some Tim Holtz holiday dies as well. These sentiment uh, dies have been, I've seen quite a lot of them in um, social media. The sled as well. We've got some samples up on the wall. That candle is super cute. And this could be used for Halloween or for Christmas. You could make that super spooky or make it festive, put some holly around it and have lots of fun. And hey, we still have a few, if you want to make a Christmas village, Go back onto our YouTube channel, find Darlene's very popular How to Build a Village with Tim Holtz video, and uh, just have some fun. Up here are some samples of those Sizzix uh, dies for the holidays, some hero stuff, hopefully give you some inspiration, some spellbinders. So our team had a crafty day in... Uh, September and we all made a bunch of samples. Some of these are from trade show projects, um, but we always have lots of insp inspiration. So if you come in the store, bring your camera, bring your phone, because we love to let you take pictures of all the things we've created because we want to see you making with them as well. And if these give you ideas, then that is awesome. Uh, we've got Santa here with his little friend Graham. <laughs> Yeah, I'm mixing my holidays up here. 
All right, so that covers actually a lot of the Christmas that we have here in the store, but I know we're still in fall. It actually kind of feels like maybe not August, but early September out there. I'm getting a little warm in my sweater. So if you are still looking for some fall, we've got some fall here behind you. And now Darlene's going to get mad at me because I'm messing up our plan. But here we've got some fall. We've got some great Halloween. Do, 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 do. I mean, I really, I love, love, love the purple and the mint green in this Monster Mash pack. And we've actually been selling quite a bit of this lately, uh, especially because Halloween is next week. Now, while we're talking about Halloween and it being next week, if you are someone who likes to pick up in Whitby on Tuesday nights, we're not going to have pickups next week because I don't want to give the trick-or-treaters your crafting supplies and the trick-or-treaters probably want candy instead. So <laughs> we'll just skip that and we will have our next Whitby pickup on November 7th. All right. Um, let's go back this way. Uh, something new. Sorry, as I squeeze through here, Darlene's doing a fabulous job with the camera. She is going to interrupt me if you have <laughs> questions. Luckily, we're both here in the same room, so she can just wave at me. We're calling this. Oh, there's a question from Sheila. If you can scan. Oh, the layout's above the top there. Okay, we'll go back and we will scan those in just a moment because we'll come back that way and show you some more of that fall stuff. But new. What's new? What we were going to show last night is new from Elizabeth Craft. So it's the, remind me what it's called, the line is You've called. Got Mail. You've Got Mail from Elizabeth Craft. So there is the Yes Joy page. And these are all for the A5 planner. Um, but you can always just move your holes. You can use them on layouts. You don't have to just use them in the planners. There is the wallet with keys. The keys being here. And again, these are just great little embellishments that you could put on any kind of project. We've got, uh, this one I think I've seen a lot on social media as well. And I think Carol mentioned that this was used quite a bit at the recent uh, retreat. So you're sure to see lots of inspiration out there. It's called postage stamps. And you can either leave it as a full piece or you could always cut apart those postage stamps as well. I want to put photos in those slots. Oh, photos in the a collage. It would be great. Yep. It would be great for a December days, mm -hmm. uh, December countdown little traditions, or again, decorate, cut them out, decorate your envelopes as well. All right, next up, this one is called Post Mailbox. I'm gonna show you the back side first so that you can see what this looks like. It's a very old school British kind of post mailbox. There's the die on that side. And in the Christmas spirit, this one is a Christmas tree. And again, I'm just gonna flip up here. We've got a really good example of what this looks like. You can either do this as a standalone page or put it on top of another page. And you know what, these dots on here, you could cut that out of vellum or some of our stencil film and make your own stencil as well to color it in if you don't wanna use it as a die cut. All right. There's a lot in this line. This one is called the half page tab with paper clip numbers for obvious reasons and great little hole reinforcers. So if you want to make this page a little bit bigger, this piece will also work well with that to extend it or just cover up your holes. We've got a friend coming in the door. Uh, you can come on in. We'll make sure you're not on camera unless you want to say hi. No, nope, she's saying... That's an older one. Oh, this is an older <laughs> one. You know what? We'll show it anyways. We'll show it anyways because it's on that same rack. This one is called the best of with the records and the cassette tape. One, two, three, four. We have four new stamp sets in this line too. Now, these two, I think these are the only ones we have left. Yeah. So if you miss it and you want it, let us know and we'll see if we can get it for you. And then there's these two sets as well. This one is called From the Past. And then this is Retro Labels number two. All right. Oh, we wanted to go back to the layouts. Let me put these away. And you can see we've got, a lot, we've got lots of other stuff too. So if you're not in the Christmas mood, oh, um, 
Lawn Fawn. How many of you are Lawn Fawn fans? And how many of you know that there is a November release coming on November 2nd? Not many people know that, but we will have it. It will be live on our site right at midnight. We're not going to do a PJ party this time, but if you are a Lawn Fawn fan, please make sure we're going to have inspiration showing. We're going to show ideas and uh, uh, share all kinds of good stuff with that new release from Lawn Fawn. There will again be a, re a release in December for Valentine's. Usually that's the first or second week of December, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. but that means two releases, two months, so start saving your pennies. Um, I was wrong. We have more Christmas. We do have more Christmas. Again, more uh, Echo Park, more Cartabella, as well as the brand new winter line. I am so in love with the colors of this pack. It's so pretty. I mean, that's our catchphrase, but man, it really is pretty, and the snowmans are adorable. I will also say that this paper has been selling very well with the cute little penguins. So, so, so cute. All right, and Darlene's just given a scan there. We've got snap albums. We've got lots of Christmas lots of Christmas. So again, as you're commenting in the in the comments, whether you're watching on replay or live in person, let us know what holiday projects you're planning. And then that way we can make sure that we give some tips, we give some ideas, we give some plans. Uh, Darlene, if you want to come over here and show off some of the layouts that are up high, our friend who's visiting us is going to take this opportunity to look at the other side of the store. But um, we appreciate it. We love seeing people in the store. So if you are local, make sure you come and say hello to us. I'll let Darlene just scan that for a minute. And then I have two last things to share with you uh, before we close off for the morning. All of this can be found on our website, www.papercraftersworkshop.ca. Or like I said, come in and see us. We love to chat. We love to see you. And... Uh, it's actually, you know, it's a foggy day, but it might be a nice day to be crafting and you may need some supplies. So come this way. We've got two other spectacular things that are happening. Uh, if you caught our double feature learning live the other night, we have our breast cancer fundraiser uh, stamp and die bundle. This bundle has the coordinating die, the stamp set, regularly valued at about $37.99. Uh, Matt's bringing me a few samples here. These are some of the goodies that Darlene made on the live the other day. We will also, if you purchase the stamp set, we will also send you an inspiration sheet with all of the cards and projects that our team made. I am so fortunate to have a, an incredibly talented team and everybody made, I would say, at least two cards if not more, so we will send you that inspiration sheet. Um, totally honest, probably on the weekend um, or early next week, but if you purchase that stamp set, it's $25. Regular, approximately, just under 40 bucks. Value, uh, the cost is $25, and all proceeds will be going to the Canadian Cancer Society uh, for breast cancer research. Any last questions before I show the what's behind me? No, so far so good. They love the store. They said beautiful store. Excellent. Love the store tour. Excellent. They think you should do it more often. We definitely should <laughs> do it more often. It just throws off my Wednesday plan. So it's all good. We will do more store tours. We have a whole other back of the store that we did not show you today. Uh, so we'll make sure we do that. Or again, please come in and see us. And if you come in and, and see us, well, today's Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Tuesday next week. And if you bring a food bank item, you will get a special gift from us. We have been collecting cans. We have been collecting pasta. We have been collecting cereal. There's diapers. Our goal is to beat our uh, haul from last year, which was 801 pounds collected. Um, I, brought, I brought the scale in today, so we'll do a... Um, just past midway point of uh, a weigh-in, but regardless, no matter what you can donate, our food bank here in Stouffville will so appreciate it. And if you're not local to us, then what I encourage you to do is reach out to your local food bank, 
find out what items they're looking for and um, make a donation there. I know a lot of food banks will also take grocery store gift cards. Uh, so if that's all that you can um, accommodate this year, then just give them a monetary donation or that gift card donation so that they can buy the things that, they, that your community needs at their food bank. So I think, whoo, <laughs> I do forget to breathe, don't I? Yeah. Anyways, Matt's, the peanut <laughs> gallery's in the back, Darlene's <laughs> laughing, you know what? It's just because I love, love all the things that we have to offer, and I want you guys to feel as excited as I am. So if I am too excited this early in the morning, I apologize, just pause, go back and watch on replay later. But until next week, uh, when we come back with our regular Learning Live on Wednesday. Happy Thursday. Learning Live is Tuesday. What's news oh, Wednesday? Sorry. <laughs> Again, not enough coffee. <laughs> Things happen. I just get talking. Learning Live is Tuesday. And yeah, it's me. I'm going to be playing with the iridescent embossing powders from Hero Arts. Um, unless something else you know, strikes my fancy between now and then. That's the benefit of being the boss. I get to decide. Um, Wednesday is what's new and Tuesday's Halloween. So happy trick or treating. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy crafting. If you're making stuff, please do post in our inner circle. And if you need help with some holiday projects, whether it's table decorations, uh, gift cards, that kind of thing, let us know what you're looking for. We'll find some inspiration for you and be, be sure to share that until then from myself, from Darlene and from Matt in the peanut gallery and our lovely friend that is visiting us. Have a wonderful day.